Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Well, no, it gets better, Ross. So, like, four years or three years ago, we'll, we'll, we'll be conservative. Three years ago, Evan sells his old Volvo to the company as just a company car for anybody <laughs> that comes in town to use. It's just an old Volvo. Like, <laughs> that was last somebody, year. Even somebody though- has keys. You know, Frank keeps the keys to it. We never know where it is half the time. I mean, fucking Frank's using it. Malcolm's using it. Who cares about the fucking Volvo? So this Volvo. <laughs> I mean, let me give you. Let me give you some background on this Volvo. <laughs> I bought this car. You had to fly to Washington to get it, didn't you? Well, no, I was flying to Washington to do uh, something. I was. I was researching. I was with you. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. we were we were up there together for for something. I forget exactly what it was, but I was in Washington for like a month. I forget what we were doing up there. Um, and then, so I buy this Volvo, like straight up for $8,000 and it has a hundred plus thousand miles on it. It was just a car that we needed. It was like, we were in Washington. We're going to be there for the next month. Plus we needed a car. So it was like, let's just buy it here. We'll drive it back. Not a big deal. Uh, you know what it was? was, I was, I was selling my condo and a bunch of other stuff in Seattle. So. So I buy this car. We don't have a family vehicle at that time. So it's $8,000, like 100 plus thousand miles on it. It's totally fine. It's a winner, 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 winner. I mean, now he doesn't have to borrow Jeff's, you know, one of four Dodge caravans. Yeah. One of four (laughs) of Jeff, Jeff Kirkham. Who knows? 1987 Dodge caravan. Our our vehicle situation was dire. Like I was driving around (laughs) a van that was not safe in any situation. We had purchased from the university and <laughs> it was no shit five hundred dollars. That's what I was that's my daily driver. Solid. So wow. Um my and we had sold all our vehicles because we needed to fund the company. So we had sold anything and everything that was a bill in our lives that we could eliminate. And we were trying to downsize, but I needed a car that we could just, you know, get around in, right? Something that was safe and you guys get it. Yeah. Um so we buy this Volvo, we drive it back. We've had it for now four years in mm-hmm. the family. Last year, I sold it to the company as a company vehicle, exactly for what Jared said, was something that people, when they're in town, they could drive, employees, whomever, right? We mm-hmm. always needed an extra car. The company bought it back for me for whatever, five grand or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Evidently, this Frank is took like- the keys. Yeah, 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 evidently, this is like a collector's item, according to my dad. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice Volvo. Richard nice Ryan, Volvo. you are a dad. <laughs> well, no, when, when he came up to you to start talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like... <laughs> so my dad starts going off on this Volvo, and he's like, God damn, we've got to have these you know, motor mounts, and we've got to replace the AC, <laughs> and then the windows are all dirty, and we've got to get this thing washed. And, and I'm like, okay, dad. So I'm going to explain to you the hierarchy of Evan's cares. And up here is like where the business is. And then, you know, above that is where my children are. And, and then as we start to decline down here, I'm like, so right here is where the, the, where I stop giving a fuck down here is where like the, the, the gross population of the African moths are like, (laughs) and then (laughs) below that is where the Volvo sits. <laughs> and no, Russ, he's actually saying this to his dad. I, so he will, he will routinely get his dad locked into a conversation where he drags the punchline out, essentially telling him that he doesn't give a fuck what he's talking about. <laughs> so like, his dad is intently listening to this list of things yeah. that Evan's <laughs> listing out, saying, okay, yeah, yeah, the African, the population of the African moth is more important to me about that than that yeah. fucking Volvo right now. I care more about the indigenous cicada population in South Africa than I do that Volvo. <laughs> the giving fuck about that Volvo. Like two flying chairs. <laughs> Richard Ryan could come back and go, I filled the Volvo with Tannerite. I blew it up on the range and I didn't film it. And I would say, wow, was it cool? That's yeah. about where I would live. That's almost what you asked to do, have done to the Subi. Yeah, the Subi 
burnt down on this side of the road. We had oh, another man. car. So, so listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. So Evan Evan got this Subaru, and how much was it? Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. If it like, and so I would drive that whenever I came out to Salt Lake, and in the peak of fucking winter, peak of winter. Like it takes what, like thirty minutes for the heat to defrost the windshield after you've already scraped it from the snow and everything. I mean, this thing <laughs> it, it barely ran. Windshield wipers didn't work. Lights half the time there were like electrical issues where the radio would cut on and off and just go straight full volume <laughs> and shit. <laughs> hey, that was a great deal, Richard Ryan. It was a foremost. great deal, but so, <laughs> who deal. was driving it when that happened? Not safe Frank. to drive in any circumstance. <laughs> it was Frank. <laughs> That was Frank. He was yeah. driving it. That is that was that was a very unsafe vehicle. It's reeked of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> One of the the, pass, the driver's side rear floor pan was out. It was like rusted completely yeah. through. So there was a, a a floor mat covering this hole in the in <laughs> the car. <laughs> yeah. Car. So we've had some incredible vehicles here at Black Rifle Coffee. I mean, it caught a, fire. It, it did catch fire, and it caught fire on the interstate, <laughs> yeah. and it burnt to, to the, the ground. ground on the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad, my dad called that me. He's like, r- he's like in it. He's like, man, you never guessed this. This this Subaru is going to cost us so much money, and starts yelling about me the Subaru. <laughs> and I was like, can you just leave it there? Like, can you just like pick up Frank and just drive away? <laughs> Like just well, right no. away. You remember the day prior to this, Frank got stranded on his way back from Ogden, and they had to tow him back That's in the said. Subaru. The, the tow, so the the tow was going to be more than the car. He yeah. fucking caught fire on the freeway. Yeah. yeah what do you do like, in a situation like that? Do you just leave it on the side of the road, Evan? What'd you do? <laughs> no, we we had it towed out to uh, I don't know a place where you, you tow scrap vehicles and. Uh, we sold it for scrap, so we bought it for five hundred bucks, and I think we sold it for a hundred or something like that. That's we drove deal. it. We drove it for almost like six months. Yeah, no, yeah. it probably almost killed multiple people because yeah. I'm sure <laughs> brakes barely worked. They didn't work. Yeah. That was <laughs> an illusion. So, so I use the funny thing is like it was so. Just- uh, the brakes actually didn't work, so I had to e-brake in the middle of winter to Hell be able yeah. to come to a stop. So I'm like drifting down the fucking street. Well, to and be s- fair, the axles were so rusted they didn't spin loosely. So like, if you just came off the gas, you could just you it was just great. close to a stop. It was great. The e-brake light came on immediately thereafter and never yeah. worked since. Well, and to be fair, I bought that car specifically for killing Richard. Richard. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. Uh, uh, no, this this is you Subaru yeah, over here. Take it. Richard, we got this you this Subaru, Richard. Yes. It's great. Here, sign this. Yes, Richard. <laughs> Get in the Subaru. <laughs>